Grace Arena Ministries, this is the place where we transform lives and maximize potentials. We're here to connect with God through worship, prayer, and fellowship. We're here to grow in the knowledge of God's word. We're here to serve God with our lives, families, and resources. And we're here to expand to the unreached in the nations of the world. If today's your first time of visiting us, we'd like you to know that we love you and we appreciate your visit. If you're searching for a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the knowledge of the word of God, then your search has come to an end. Our hospitality team will meet you and give you a visitor's pack and offer you some refreshments. There is a brochure in the pack with a detail section. Please could you complete it and hand it back to the hospitality team. Our prophet will meet you at the end. Please be aware of our housekeeping rules. There are two fire exits in the building, one to my right and one through the door. We only hope to experience the Holy Ghost fire, but in case of physical fire, please use the fire exits as shown. If you want to use the toilets, they're right through the door. They're gents and ladies just outside the door. Our Grace Children's Service is opposite our auditorium. Mothers, please be assured that your children are safe with our Sunday school teachers. They'll be taught the Word of God and they'll grow in the knowledge of God's Word. Here in Grace Arena, we serve God with our lives, our families and resources. Please be sure to serve in any one of our departments and God will surely bless you. Grace Arena Ministries is one church at different locations. Please take note of our different service and location times. We meet at the Gethsemane Centre, Shakespeare Road, Brixton, SW98RR. We meet on Wednesdays between 6.30pm and 9pm and on Sundays between 5.30pm and 8pm. We also meet at the Empowerment Centre, Unit 7 and 8, 13 Argyle Avenue, Leighton, E10 7QE. We meet on Fridays between 7pm and 9pm and on Sundays between 11.30am to 2pm. Thank you and God bless you. You are not needed. You feel like there is nothing good in you. When you are rejected, it doesn't mean there is nothing good in you. It doesn't mean that um, you are not wanted. All it means is that the person that rejected you doesn't know your value. For instance, someone can bring to me a meal. If I don't like that particular food, I may reject it. But that same meal given to another person, that meal may be his favorite. The person may enjoy it and may eat it. That doesn't mean that that food wasn't good enough. All it means is that I don't like it. I don't see it value at that particular moment. When someone rejects you, just know. All it is is that a person doesn't see your value. The person doesn't know what you carry. The person doesn't place value on what is in you. You've got to understand something. When you are rejected, just sit back and tell yourself, it is not about me, it is about them. When it's, you make it about you, that I, I'm not good enough, I, I'm not wanted, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm this, then now you feel bad about yourself, you can end up even doing harm to yourself. But when you know that it's about them, what it means is that they don't see your value. They don't appreciate you like they are supposed to. You feel good about yourself and go where you are needed and where you are valued. Always know, go where you'll be celebrated, where people will see your value, where people will appreciate what you carry so that you'll not feel rejected. May God bless you. Last week, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me 
and instructed me to pay my tithe into Dom Ministries, which is of us, the, which is uh, under Prophet uh, David Ousu, and I obeyed the Spirit of the Lord. I I paid my tithe on time, and um, 48 hours later, um, I received a phone call from someone that I know, someone who's very close, and he told me that he is going to pay my August rent in full and I testify and and that indeed my rent has been paid. Join us every evening with Prophet David Abusu on Grace Hour. Check out the timings on our flyers for your city and your state. And I know your life will never be the same again because at Grace Hour we pray and testimonies follow.
from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God. Worship him. Lift up your voice and sing him. Rabahatosa. Ikerebosha. Imela. Rababoshata. Imela. We are just saying thank you, Lord. presence of God and I just want you to understand your life will never be the same again I need you to share the broadcast for me share it to as many people as you can reach share it to your friends your family tag somebody in and let them connect host a watch party uh, we are bringing our series this week to an end uh, on uh, how to make your star shine and that your star will shine today and in the course of the week i started teaching about how to shine and how to make your star become evident to all 
and I told you by making you understand that every one of us was born with a star. You were born with a star. I was born with a star. I told you um, in the course of the week that the, the greatness of your star determines the greatness of your life. I told you your star depicts your ranking on this earth. Your star is like the prophetic navigator that shows the direction of your life. If your star goes this way, that is the way your life will go. I told you that the quality of your star determines the quality of your life. If your star is shining brighter and brighter, it's a sign your life will shine brighter and brighter. If uh, your star is a great star it means that your life will also be great the bible said in the book of matthew chapter 2 that jesus was born and the day jesus was born scripture declares that his star appeared in the east and the wise men carried gold, silver, um, myrrh, and frankincense to go and minister to Jesus and honor Jesus. If Jesus was born and a star appeared, that goes on to tell you every one of us when we were born there was a star that came out on the day you were born and your star has the ability to draw the right people to you your star has the ability to connect you with great men your star has the ability to cause you to become a great man or a great woman and I told you when your star shines kings come to look for you look at every most of the stars in the world people who are shining they are connected to greatness great people just want to associate with them why because great stars attract great stars if you manage to shine when you read isaiah chapter 60 he says arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you he says darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but he said the light of God shall shine upon you and in the scripture goes on he says he says kings will come to the brightness of a rising when you begin to shine and you begin to rise kings will come to you great men will come to you presidents will look for you great bishops will look for you great politicians will look for you and i prophesy to your life that may your star shine as the bible says and may great men come to the brightness of your rising in the name of jesus listen to me if not for the anointing of my life maybe no great man would know me but because i am shining great people desire to connect to my anointing. Likewise after this service I want you to understand you also you will begin to shine and great people shall look for you. Great people shall look for you. Listen when Jesus star began to shine even though he was at a dirty stinking place great men were coming for him when Jesus was born in a manger he was he, he was kept in a manger but somehow his star attracted great men his star attracted great people today I pray for you may your star attract great people may your star attract the person that is meant to be connected to your life and the one you need to propel you to your next level after this meeting I pray that God will release them to your life if you are here shout I receive that Listen to me. When your star begin to shine, I told you, you begin to rise. People will not understand what is happening. You just keep 
rising and keep rising you keep succeeding and keep succeeding you keep becoming famous and everything seems to be going well why because it's your time to shine when your star begin to shine it, it everything becomes it, it, it's like everything it, it, it happens and everything goes on well for you and, and that is why we are believing God to happen in our lives this week that we will shine and I told you there are people we call star robbers they are people that seek to dim your star they are people that seek to dim your influence they are people that seek to frustrate your destiny they are people that seek to make sure you do not rise like you are supposed to and I told you the first type of people who rob your star are jealous and envious friends when you have got a friend who is jealous of you who is envious of your greatness envious of your rising if you don't separate yourself from them they will dim your star number two the second type of people that dim your star are people that are negative advertisers people who seek to advertise you negatively they talk bad about you at your back they do everything to make sure that you don't look good you 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 you, you are not the kind of person that 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 that, that people will admire negative advertisers seek to dim your star it is my prayer today that God will deliver you from negative advertisers people that advertise you negatively the third type of star robbers are the people that I told you that they are territorial people when when they get to a certain level they want everybody else to be below them when you are around such a person you your star cannot shine. They seek to suppress your, your destiny. They seek to suppress your greatness. They don't want you to rise like them. All they want is, is supposed to be about them and, and them and them. You need to learn how to cut such people from your life. Otherwise, your star may not shine like it's supposed to. And, and today, I want to talk to you through now that, that about sex to seven points that you need to do if you want to make your star shine. If you want to shine like Jesus was shining and he attracted great men, these are the things you need to do. Number one. Number one. I need you to watch these things because they are the things that will make your star shine. Are you ready for me? Number one. To make your star shine, you need to be able to live for purpose. You need to learn how to live in your purpose and live in your assignment. You need to learn how to live in your purpose and live in your assignment. You need to learn how to live in your purpose and live in your assignment. If you really want to shine, you must learn how to live by purpose and live by assignment. Most people are not living the life that God created them to live. As long as you are living outside of your purpose, you struggle. When you live in purpose and in your assignment, you shine. Look at they are great comedians. Some people even look down upon their jobs, but they are doing well in their career. They are shining. They are excelling on their job. Why? Because they are living in their purpose. They are living in their assignment. God created them to make other people happy. As long as you learn what you were created by God to do on the earth, you shine. Imagine you once you live outside of your purpose, you are not able to shine. 
if you live within your purpose, some of you watch this. Before you started shining, you were living anyhow. You you were doing everything and anything. But when you identified your purpose in life and you started working in your purpose and started working in your assignment, you saw that things were happening. You started growing, but you started becoming influential. You started, I mean, becoming famous. You started making money before you were not. But the reason why now is so is because now you are living in your purpose. You must learn how to live in your purpose and in your assignment. Otherwise, you struggle. Yeah, look at some great comedians. They are doing so well because they are living in their purpose. Imagine, I, 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 saw, I said to somebody, imagine Cristiano Ronaldo decided to, to become an actor. He would have lost his purpose. That was not what he was created to do. Imagine Denzel Washington decided to play football. Imagine Bishop T.D. Jake says um, when he was growing up, he chose to become a footballer. He would have missed it. Or play rugby. He would have mixed it. And he would not possibly have become as great as he is now. Why? Because he's living outside of purpose. If you want to really fulfill destiny and if you really want to shine, you must be able to identify the reason why God created you. Let me tell you something. Whoever made this microphone made it for a purpose. Whoever made this pulpit made it for a purpose. Whoever made the gun, the, 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 the iMac, the cameras we are using, it was made for a purpose. Our God is too intelligent to make you without a purpose. God created you with an intent on his mind. And it is your responsibility to identify why God created you and walk in it. When you learn how to live in your assignment, why did God create me? Why am I here on the earth? What is my assignment and what is my purpose? You will shine. When you find it and you walk in it, you begin to shine. People who are names are walking in their purpose. People who are great men, great women, whether they, they are born again or born against, it doesn't matter. Some people are not safe, but they are able to identify why they were made. But you as a child of God, your father is the heavenly father. You should know why you were made. You should know why God created you. Do you think God created you for you to get married, have three or four children, and then you die and build a house? No, 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 no. They, that, that is living a vague life, an empty life. There is a great purpose that God wants you to fulfill. There is a great assignment that God wants you to fulfill. From today, don't just live for yourself. You've got to learn how to live for purpose. You've got to learn how to live in a way that you would glorify the God that made you. Imagine I make this microphone to, 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 to be used to speak and I use it to play the drums. I use the microphone to hit the drums. I will be, I mean, misplacing the purpose of this microphone. Very soon it will get destroyed and it might be destroyed premature. Why? Because I am displacing its purpose. The reason why people even die premature is that they are not living for purpose. When you live in purpose and you live for purpose, you will live long until you have fulfilled the assignment. God gave you, you can't die. You can't. Why? Because you are walking in the purpose of your master. You were created to do something. Let me tell you, there is a better you than this. There is a better purpose that God has for you than just making babies, than just going to work. There is a better assignment that God has for you. You've got to discover it. It is not that, it is not something that is, that, that cannot be found. The word discover comes from two words. This and cover. This cover. Imagine, let me say, I've got, I've got my phone here. See, if you imagine you, this phone is possibly hidden in this Bible. Now, if 
I, if God gives me this Bible, and maybe my responsibility is to find or to discover the phone. The way this means, um, 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 remove. And the word cover, we, we understand cover something means to place something over it. So the word discover literally means remove the cover so that the thing will be displayed. So the phone is here. All I need to do is to remove the covering. Whatever is covering it so that the phone shall be seen and it will be displayed. Your destiny and your assignment is already here. It is your responsibility to this Cover it. When you discover, you remove the cover from your assignment, you begin to walk in it. Most people are, have not discovered their assignment. Their assignment are still covered. Their purpose are still covered. Their purpose, they, listen to me, there are certain things that when you are in, God can kill you. When you are walking in purpose, God cannot kill you before time. Why? When, 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 when Jesus was on the cross, not until they tried several times to arrest Jesus, not until his assignment was up, they could not. Why? Because at the time his assignment was not up. But when your assignment is up and you have fulfilled everything, that is when then God can allow you to die. It doesn't matter how many witches are in your family. I'm telling you, if you are living in purpose, they cannot kill you before your time. It cannot happen. Because the master is in charge of your life. You, he knows you are fulfilling that which he created you to do. You are walking in that assignment and you are walking in that purpose. The reason why you struggle and struggle and struggle and everything that you are supposed to get, it comes by hard work and so much struggle is because you may not possibly be living in your purpose. You see, if... If I'm not working in purpose, it becomes difficult for me to receive support and backing. But my prayer today is simple. That God will help you to begin to walk in your assignment and to begin to walk in your purpose. When you are working in your assignment and you are working in your purpose, you shine. Great bishops are shining. Great men of God are shining. Why? Because they are living in their purpose. I studied as an engineer from the university. Imagine I came to England and I decided and chose to say, now I want to go and look for a job at BT and stop ministry and, 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 and become an engineer or something like that. Yes, that is what I went to school for, but that is not my purpose. That is not my purpose. My purpose is to minister to souls, to preach the word and edify people to transform their lives and to raise leaders out of them. The question, the greatest question you need to ask on this earth is God, why did you create me? Why am I here on this earth? What do you want me to accomplish? My friend, God did not just create you to come and have children on this earth. Anybody can have children. God did not just create you to come and get married. God did not create you to come and have fun, go to work and come back, go to work and come back. No, God created you with an assignment. You've got to discover that assignment and walk in it. Now watch this. The second thing you need to do if you want to shine, listen to me, if you learn how to walk in your purpose, eh? everything else begin to fall in place even the job you are doing which may not be the job that possible everything begins to make sense God releases his power to support you you begin to have the backing of Elohim imagine I made this microphone for you for you to use to speak and I see you hitting the floor I mean using it to pick pieces of paper and things like that I, I get 
get upset. I, I, I will not support that because I did not make that microphone for that. The reason why some of you, you have this favor and you are not successful in the things you do is that you don't have the backing of God. You are not living in purpose. You are just living for your own interest. But when you learn how to live in purpose, you learn how to walk in purpose, you get the backing of God. Everything else works. The least thing you do, it results in great things. I pray for you today. May you have a revelation of your purpose. May you have a revelation of your purpose. May you begin to walk in your purpose. May God show you what he created you to do, what he created you to fulfill. You shall not live outside of your purpose, but you will live to fulfill his plans and his purposes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Check the scripture. He says, for I know the things I think towards you, thought of good and not of evil, to give you a hope and an expected end. God has, God thinks about you. Mm. God thinks about you. Maybe you didn't know, but that is what it is. He said, for I know the thoughts I think towards you. Imagine God is sitting in heaven and, and imagine I mean he's looking at David. He said David that you are feeling purpose. Come on keep preaching. You are feeling purpose. Maybe I get angry and maybe I get offended. I say I quit. I quit ministry. I'm going to do something else. You know why? I am now going to not get the backing of God. I can do other things. Yes, I can use my certificate to get a job. Yes, but I may not be fulfilling purpose. So I will start struggling. Nothing seems to work. Everything it becomes a push and a pull. Like so much tension, so much hard work. I invest much, nothing comes out. Why? Because I'm living outside of purpose. When you live for purpose, the universe backs you. When you live for purpose, life becomes meaningful. When you live for purpose, you shine. When you live for purpose, you shine. Number two. The second thing you need to do to shine is learning how to take advantage of opportunities. Do you hear what I said? Learning how to what? Take advantage. What causes people to become great is when they learn how to take advantage of opportunities. They are great preachers, like preachers like Raham Bonke and great preachers, um, the Raham Bonke, the late of blessed memory, who were not great like it was. It was a, a story is told that one time um, Bonke had a conference and he had invited one of the greatest preachers at the time. He was a healing evangelist and the guy refused to turn up. So the guy did not turn up for that conference and Bonke had no option than to preach. So when he began began to preach and he began to push he began to preach what happened was now the Bible the, the, the story is told Raham Bonke started seeing miracles happen in that crusade things started happening he took advantage of that opportunity even though he it was not it, it, it supposedly him that was supposed to be preaching but he said I will not let this thing pass by I will take advantage of this opportunity and minister. Let me tell you something. The greatest successes most of the time come through some unfortunate circumstances. Greatest successes come through most of the time unfortunate circumstances. Most of you, you think all the time God will come and knock on your door and bring you a nice package miracle. Sometimes you've got to learn how to step into opportunities. You've got to learn how to take advantage of situations. You've got to learn how to step up to opportunity and then you succeed. Listen to me. If you don't learn how to take advantage of situations and you don't learn and become wise how to take advantage of opportunities, you you may never rise not because God does not want you to rise because you have failed to take advantage of opportunities let me give you this scripture 
Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. Open in the scripture, let us go. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. I'm going to expound the scripture. Most of the time, people misinterpret the scripture. And they don't really know what it means. And, and they say, and the race is not to the swift, nor battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise. No, 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 no favor to men of skill. But time and chance happens to them all. That means that, you know, I mean, it's not about the person becoming wise. God can make you get to the top. No, 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 that is not what it means. The Bible says, Solomon, the great man, was the one preaching here. And he says, I returned and saw under the sun. Listen to the words very well. That the race is not to the swift. No battle to the strong. No bread to the wise. No riches to men of understanding. No favor to men of skill. But now he says, it is not. Now let's, let me explain. He says, in this life, it is not about the people who knows how to run faster that win the race. It is not about people who are strong that win the battle. No, let's, let's analyze the scripture right here. When two people are in a battle, the person supposed to win the battle is the one that is strong. In, if two people are in a race, you are running with the same boat, there is no way you're going to be the guy. You understand? According to systems and the natural order when, when it, it is about who is strong or who is wealthy or who knows how to get it but now the scripture says it is not about who is favorable or who is wise but it says time and chance happens to them all time and chance and opportunity the word chance there is the word opportunity is the hebrew word for opportunity time was given to the person that was strong and the person that was weak opportunity was given to the person that was strong and the person that was weak but the one that was strong took advantage of the opportunity and won he says they all had an equal time. They all had equal chance, equal opportunities. Let me tell you, my dear, you've got to come to the place where you are smart and wise enough to take hold of opportunities. Opportunities. God releases opportunities to us every now and then, but we fail to see them. You are too careful. Some of you, you are too careful. You are too collected. Some of you, you are too nice and collected. You went to a finishing school. So some of these opportunities, you, you don't want to get yourself dirty, my friend. If you fail to take a race, even that is a race. You must learn how to step in and take hold of opportunities. You might never know that opportunity you missed was your way to make you shine. You might never know that opportunity was your way to make you prosper. You might never know that opportunity was your way to take you to the top. I pray for you today that God will give you eyes to see opportunities, to step in into opportunities, to take hold of opportunities. From today, you've got to know it doesn't matter any opportunity that will come away, I will take hold of it. I step in into opportunities. I possess opportunities. That is my time I may my season. I take hold of that opportunity. I will not let it bypass me. It's my time to shine and I step into opportunities. You've got to learn how to step and take hold of opportunities. You are a single lady. You want to get married. You are invited to a meeting or a function where you meet people. Huh? Me, I don't like these meetings. It's not my thing. It's not your thing. That is why you are still single. You are invited to a business seminar. You might never know who you will meet. Yeah, this one is not my thing. That is how you miss opportunities. What is not your thing? My friend, do you know the people who have risen to the top? How they took advantage of the least opportunities that came their way? You've got to learn how to rise up and take hold of opportunities. Some of you, you miss your destiny helpers because you are not sensitive to take hold of opportunities. 
are not sensitive enough to take hold of opportunities. When I smell opportunities, I grab it. When I smell opportunities, I take it. If you really want to shine, you've got to make sure you take hold of opportunities. No footballer just rise from, I mean, I mean, first division level to Premier League. You must rise and rise and rise through the ranks. When, 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 when those people, what do they call them? The people that come to check. What do they call them? The, the people that will come to the field to check you and, 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 and mark you. Scouts. Yes, when the scouts come and the, the people are playing, they, they are sitting down watching. And it is everybody's opportunity on the field to shine. So when you shine, the scouts will write down your name. And before you realize, they want to take you to the next level. And in, even in the next level, another scouts will come and come to check people. And you shine again, they take you to the next level. Listen to me. Imagine when, when Cristiano Ronaldo scouts had come to look for him and the guy failed to shine. Listen, you don't know which opportunity will take you to the top. Let me look at the scripture. You see? I was to do dreams and their interpretations next week. But I'm going to still stay on this thing next week. How to shine. I'm going to go deep into purpose and go deep into how to handle opportunities and go deep into other things so that you shine. We are going to continue shining next week. I'm going to hold on next week's topic and then we are going to delve deep into this. Go with me. To first Samuel, first Samuel, first Samuel, verse 17. So first Samuel chapter 17, I beg your pardon. Chapter 17, verse 17. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 17. Now let's listen to the word of God. How? David became a star in the whole of Israel. David became a star because the guy says when he went to the battlefield and he saw the, um, the, the Philistine giants making noise, he says, this is my opportunity to shine. The guy took hold of the opportunity and the rest was history. The rest was history. The guy said, I want to beat this guy. There were other guys that anybody there could have been the one to, to, to be chosen to fight Goliath. But none of the people stood up. Maybe if David's eldest brother, Eliab, has stood up, maybe he would have won. And become the next king. But the guy checking out, saw checking out. Everybody in Israel had run into hiding. David said, this is an opportunity to shine. When opportunity comes your way, don't turn it down for you do not know how it will make you shine. First Samuel chapter 17 verse 17. Listen to the word of God. Then Jesse said to David, his son, take for your brothers an ephah of roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread. And run quickly to the camp to your brothers. Also take these ten cups of cheese to the commander of the unit. And see how your brothers are doing and bring back news of them. And now, now they were with Saul and all the men of Israel in the valley of Elah. Verse 20. Even the writer of my Bible says, David, from verse 20, they caption it. David accepts the challenge. David takes hold of the opportunity. Verse 20 says, So David got up early in the morning and left the flock with the keeper and picked up the provisions and went just as Jesse had directed him. And he came to the encampment of the army, the, uh, of the army that was going out in battle formation, shouting the battle cry. Israel and the Philistines drew up to battle. Let me skip. Let me skip to verse 20. Verse 25. When, when the men of Israel, verse 24, when the men of Israel saw the man, 
They fled from him. When other people were fleeing from opportunity, David was approaching opportunity. The guy became a star right there. They fled from him. When the, verse 25, when the men of Israel and the men of Israel said, have you seen this man who is coming up? Surely he is coming up to defy Israel. The king will reward. Listen to it. They told David, the king will reward the man who kills him with great riches and will give him his daughter. Look at the benefits. Reward with riches, the king will give you his daughter in marriage and your father's house will be free from taxes and service. His entire family will never pay tax in Israel. These benefits and the entire men in Israel were running away. I believe somebody should have matched up to this. Try. Just try. Then to the men who were standing there by him, what will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and removes the disgrace from Israel? Then he said, what can be done for the man? What are the benefits? Let me tell you, I told you the other day, don't fight empty battles. Fight battles that are rewarding. Don't just engage in unnecessary couples and unnecessary fights that do not bring reward. David asked an intelligent question. What can be done for the man who kills this uncircumcised Philistine giant? I pray for somebody tonight. May your battles bring reward. May your efforts yield reward. May your efforts yield reward. Jesus name. What shall be done for the man that kills this uncircumcised Philistine giant? What shall be done? Then the man told him that is what will be done for him who kills the uncircumcised Philistine giants. Verse 28. Now Eliab, his oldest brother, heard what he was saying and Eliab's anger burned against him, against David, and he said, why have you come down here and with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness. I know your overconfidence. Now look at how Eliab describes David. And I want to tell you on your road to shining, there will be Eliabs. Eliabs who will tell you you are overconfident. You are trying to assume the impossible. Why are you trying to do something no one has done in England? That is why maybe you were born to be the first to do it. Why are you trying to do something? People, people, people do it this way. Yes, that is death. My purpose was to do it that way. You've got to understand, you are not me, Eliab. You, David was not an army officer. David was not a soldier. But listen, who killed Goliath? Not Eliab the soldier. The novice, the, the amateur field guy killed the soldier. You've got to understand, sometimes experience is not always the best teacher. Experience is not always the best teacher. Some people have done things and they always want to tell you, do it that way. She it that way. They try to put you in a box and make you fit in it because you, do, you are not doing it the way they know. I remember when I started coming online in 2016, people were like, why, why do you come on Facebook to pray? It doesn't make sense. And I told them, a time is going to come. Churches will be shut down. And you, there will not be any church. The only way to reach people will be through virtual means. And they thought I was joking. Listen to me. You do not know. People may not understand your style. But that is why maybe you were born. Listen to me. There are Eliabs on your way to rising that will oppose you. My God, I feel this. There are Eliabs on your way to rising that will want to fight you. There are Eliabs that will want to contend with you. There are Eliabs that will tell you you don't know how to do it. They will tell you you don't qualify to do it. They will tell you you have not been schooled enough. They will tell you you don't have papers in this country. They will tell you all sort of things. They will give you a hundred and one reason not to do it. But listen. You must find that one reason to do it. 
because you are they are not you uh, they may be experienced but they are not you they may be experienced than you but they are not you they may be an army officer you may be a novice but still God can do miracles with you don't let Eliab stop you on your way to shining don't let opposition stop you on your way to shining never allow the Eliabs of life to stop you trying to bring the way to a close but listen to me I'm going to continue this because there are so many things I need to share every Eliab in your life has been placed by the devil to discourage you Eliabs are agents of discouragement on your way to shine they will tell you why you need not to do it I don't like negative people and naysayers they are always negative about everything. Everything, especially if it is for your rising, they will have something negative to say. Call them an Eliab. The Bible says, listen to what David did. The Bible says, and David said, what have I done? Verse 13. The Bible says, then David turned away from Eliab. My God. David turned away from Eliab. My dear sister, Turn away from the naysayers, the discouragers, the aliens that try to stop you on your way to shine. And turn away from them. Get it, turn away. If you don't learn how to turn away from the aliens, they will stop you. They will resist your shining. Turn away from the aliens. Turn away from the aliens. David turned away from the Eliabs and he confronted us and he, and he connected to the person that was able to get him to the king. My God. And that is where tomorrow I'm going to teach you on divine connectors. People that connect. I did not just rise to the top. Somebody connected me somehow. Listen to me. In this life it's about connection. I did not jump, I mean, teleport from my house to here. I used a means of transport to connect me here. Somebody needs to connect you to the king. Someone, if you need to shine, you need a divine connector. Put your hand on your head. Say after me. Father, release my divine connector. Release my divine connector. Release my divine connector. Release my connectors. Higher Bazi Hatabaya. Every divine connector that is supposed to come your way today, I pray, may they be released. 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 Father, release my divine connector. Hey, Sabahatanabai. Ikabra Tatadia Sata. Today, we are going to pray three prayers. I'm done. We will we'll continue tomorrow. We are making only three prayer points. The Father release my divine connector. And Father, let every alia be in my life be removed. Let all the aliens live my life. Listen to me. Eliab's agenda was to stop David. Eliab's agenda was to resist David. Sometimes aliens are not just evil people. Sometimes they, they just feel you can't do it. They are in gen genuinely they feel you are not able to. But you've got to tell them, I am David. Uh, you must give them a record. Uh, and then to, uh, in the course of the week, I'll teach you how to make reference to your successes. It boosts your confidence and it helps you to shine. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? We want to take a prayer. Prayer point number one. 
Father, connect me to my helpers. My divine connectors. Father, release them. Release my divine connectors. 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 Somebody needs to connect you to a job. Somebody needs to connect you to a business. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Remove the alien so called. 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 Jesus. We are taking the next prayer point. You are declaring in the name of Jesus that any divine connector that needs to be released in your life, you are commanding and declaring that may God release them. No man is an island. Every great man was helped and assisted somehow. Let me tell you, tomorrow I'll teach you how I even managed to come to England. That's how I managed to come to England. I finished my first degree and uh, I was passing by the British High Commission in, in Kumasi. And as I was passing by, I just saw a banner that they were doing an educational exhibition. I had already gotten a school in, in, in New Jersey in America to do my master's. So I just, I just saw the banner. I said, let me just go. Let me just, I am a man of opportunity. Let me just go and see what will happen. Just pop in. So I popped in. I talked to one school. I talked to another school. The second person I talked to was some white woman. He says, uh, what's your name? I told him, he said, David, I think you need to come to Bournemouth. He says, this is what we do. This is what we do. Fill this form. I feel it as I was feeling it. I just said, let me just feel. Maybe, maybe something will happen. I was going to go to the U.S. And they were delaying with my documentation to release for me to go and get a visa. And within a matter, as I applied, I left the high commission, uh, the, the, the council. As I applied within two weeks, I get an email. You have been given admission. I'm like, ah, just like that. I thought this was a joke. He's, I said, let me continue. Let me call them. We, we started emailing, discussing one thing led to the other before I realized my cast was ready. I needed to go and apply for visa. I said, as at the point of applying for the visa, I'm like, let me just do it. I applied for the visa, boom, they gave me. Next thing, get ticket. I got a ticket. I gave it. One day, I told myself, that airline that brought me to England, one day I will take it back to Ghana. It was a very funny airline. I have never, ever bought that, those, those airlines again. I'm, I'm a, I mean, they can see me, so I will not mention their name online. It was a very funny airline. But I 
sat in that plane and landed here and that was the beginning of history you need to learn how to connect and that day I was passing through that place because I was going to see another business so I was going to look I was looking for someone I was looking for a business connector someone I was doing some business with and then boom open door listen you must open your eyes to see how God can make things happen for you. Jesus. you are making a prayer Father, release my destiny oh, connector. Release my, destiny connector. Release, my connector. release my connector. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever, wherever my destiny connector my is. Destiny connector is. I release them. 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 Lift up your voice and pray. Rapa para branta para branta ba e tere 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 Release my connector. Rapa pada bapa dua kapa. Rapa pada bapa dama. Ite de 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 de. Re te de 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 de. Re te de 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 de. Re te de 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 de. Rapa pada baswata. In the name of Jesus. Kaba na bras. You are taking the next prayer point. You are declaring in the name of Jesus that any Eliab in your life. Sent to discourage you, sent to dim your light, sent to stop you on your way to rising. May the Lord remove them. Lift up your worship. This week I'll make you understand. Sometimes the Eliabs they give a very good advice. But that good advice may not be good for you. Listen to this, my quote. It's one of my favorite quotes. It's not every good advice that is good for you. Not every good advice is good for you. Some advices, pieces of advices can be good, but it may not be good for you. So an alien will come with a very seemingly good advice, but it is meant to stop you. It is meant to distract you from your course and your assignment. You are making a prayer. Father, remove Eliabs from my life. Remove Eliabs from my life. Eliabs that will distract my destiny. Eliabs that will cause me not to fulfill purpose. Lift up your voice and come and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Every Eliab in my life, we remove you, we remove you, we remove you, we remove you, we remove you. We remove you in the name of Jesus. 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 Remove you in the name of Jesus. We remove you in the name of Jesus. Not every advice is good for you. Somebody, you can be having an issue with your husband or your wife. 
and someone can just come and say leave leave that marriage leave 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 it may be a seemingly good advice but it may not be good for you you are taking your last prayer listen to me this week I'm going to go details into shining how to make your star shine how to make it shine how to make your star shine how to make your star shine that is going to be the theme for this coming week I have postponed the other topic we will do it next week the, the week after how to make your star shine how to make your star shine you are taking your last prayer that may God command your star to shine that may you walk in purpose yes may you be able to walk in your assignment Jesus Lift up your voice and come and pray. Rabba baka da ba sata. Ikere bo shata ba ya. Rabba pa 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 pa. Ikere de bo shaba. Rabba pa da baka. Ikere bo shaba ya. Rabba pa da ba. Ikere bo shata. Ikere bo shaba. When the music fades And all is straight away And I simply can't It's all about Jesus tonight He oh, came and oh, shut up Long as just, just to pray Son. Something that's of worth That will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself It's not what you have required You set much deeper within Through the way things are Jesus bring it back to Jesus bring it back to Jesus bring it back to Jesus it's all about it's not because of me but it's you Oh, 
Father is your name. Lift up your voice and worship him right here. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, mighty warrior, you are great. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, oh mighty warrior, you are great. Jehovah, Jehovah, hey, oh mighty warrior, mighty warrior, you are great. In battle, Jehovah is your name. I want to pray for every one of you that is believing God for a destiny connector. You are a place where only God can connect you. I pray for you right now under the anointing of the Holy Ghost that may my God release your connector. May my God release your destiny connector. May my God release your connector. May my God release your destiny connector. May my God release your destiny connector in the name of Jesus. Mighty warrior. Oh, Jesus. Let them all shut out of us. Hey, 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 He's great in battle. He's great in battle. He's great in battle. are struggling because a certain pastor has cursed you. The Lord just spoke to me that I should pray for somebody watching me. You feel, you will still feel like your struggle is because a certain man of God cursed you. The Lord says I should tell you that if you have ever been cursed today the curse is revoked. And that the blessing is coming upon your life. Grace is released upon you to excel. To do well and to prosper. If you are watching me. And you felt. A certain man of God has cursed you. A certain pastor cursed you. A certain bishop cursed you. A certain prophet cares you. Just comment right now and say, I am the one, let me speak over you. And revoke the curse. The curse is revoked. The curse is revoked. Yes, Lord. The curse is nullified. In the name of Jesus. Come and change my destiny. My destiny today. You're a destiny changer. Kapadoshete. You are a destiny changer. Ikere de de bo shata. Come and change. Ray. Destiny. Oh Jesus. Your destiny today. Ikere de bo shata. Come and change. Hey. Your destiny. A destiny. Jina Mwangi has confirmed. Miracle giver. Hey, come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle. Oh, your name is Yahweh. Your name. Your name is Yahweh. Say 
again. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey. Your name is Yahweh. Jinamwangi, I pray for you. Any man of God that cares you today, I reverse the curse. The case is not working any longer. From today, go, you are blessed. Go, you are blessed. Go, you are blessed. Go and be blessed. Aka Alechi. Aka Alechi. Any man of God that cares you, any prophet, any pastor, any man of God that released the curse on you. Today I reverse the curse. 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 In the name of Jesus. Watch this. You feel your marriage has been failing because a man of God cares you. Listen to me and listen good. I am also a man of God. If somebody can curse you and you believe the curse can work, another man will bless you and the blessing will revoke the curse. I reverse every curse on you. 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 There is a guy. Watch me, your name is called Victor. Victor, a, pa a pastor cares you. A certain man of God cares you. I want you to confirm right now. There is a guy watching me. Your name is called Victor. A certain man of God cares you. But today I declare, the curse is broken. Victor, any man of God that cares you, the curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. I hear the change. Falling, falling, I hear the, the chain. I hear the chain falling. I hear the chains, I hear the chains, I hear the chain falling. Falling is broken. I hear the chain falling. Oh, to break, to break every chain, break. Break every chain. I speak of a victor. Victor has confirmed, my God. What a God. What a God. What a God. What a God. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the chains falling, falling. your life as a man of God and the man of God that released a curse on you it is broken it is broken the curse today is permanently broken Jesus name. Nasha there is a lady watching me called Nasha 
Now shall any curse release against you also. I stand as a prophet and I break it from your life. Jesus. Come on, come on. There is somebody watching me. Your name is called Anne. You used to pray with a certain lady who has tagged herself a prophetess. She has tagged herself like a prophetess. And she, she, she used to pray with you. And something went wrong between you and that person. And the lady has been cursing you and cursing you. Today I pray as a prophet. And I decree and declare. That curse she has been releasing, it is broken. 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 that she released against you and I reverse it go and succeed go and prosper go and do well in the name of Jesus Amen. open the floodgates in, in abundance, abundance and cause your Someone is watching me right now. You have accumulated tight, a lot of tight. You have been keeping it. And you have not been releasing it. It is holding your blessing. Release it this week. You have kept it. I don't know what it is that you want to do with it. Or where you want to take it. I just heard God, I should tell you, release that tight. Release it, release it. Release it. If you don't know where to release it, just release it to our ministry. And it is going to command a harvest for you. And it's going to cause a shift in your finances. Within this next three months of this year, you are going to command the harvest. If you are watching me and you want to partner with my ministry, just send me a monthly basis. Any small amount, any little that you can do, just give to support the ministry. Today, if you have not given your offering, send your offering to our payment details. If you have not sown your seed, you've not given your tithe, just release it now. If you are in the UK, send it to our account details. If you are in America, send it to our cash app, which is Grace Hour One, or our PayPal account, 
which is David dot K O W U S U at gmail.com. Listen to me as you watch me. Facebook has brought something new called stars. You can buy a star on Facebook and send to our ministry. It is coming on the live feeds these days. So if you want to just give, you can connect your account to Facebook and immediately you buy a star. You can buy $20 star, $100 star, $50 star, any amount. Immediately you buy it, you can send it to the ministry. And it will come to us. And as you watch, and we finish the broadcast, they will also bring on the screen rates how many stars does this video get every day after the broadcast wait make sure you rate it five star if you if i catch you you rate my video anything below five star i'll have a case with you if you want to send your tithe and your seed to our kenyan details is the pay bill number is 919143 Put the account name tight or seed. If you are in Zambia, the, pay, the mobile money number is 0975904802. 0975904802. If you are in Ghana, the mobile money number is 0550738873. If you are in South Africa, Botswana, send to our account details the account number is first national bank branch is first place account number is six two five nine six triple three five one nine the name is Vuiswa Mochella wherever you are you can send a seed and if any of thoughts we will receive it and I will pray over it let me pray for the people that are giving the offering and the people that have sown their seeds and give it their tithe. Father, I pray for everyone that has sent their tithe, that has given their offering, that has given their seed. May you open the windows of heaven unto them and give them a blessing that they will not have room to contain. May you bless their finances. Open doors for them. Grant them divine protection. Let there be a way for them. In the name of Jesus, let the heavens open on their behalf. In Jesus' name. 